At nagbabalik mga kasambahay ang Dr. Son TV. Kasama pa rin natin si Dr. Dennis Serrano of St. Luke's Medical Center Global City now here to show us how robotics for prostate cancer is done. Hmm. Tulad ng sinabi ko, Doc JM, ano? this is the most advanced platform for surgery now. Uh, ito na ngayon yung camera na pinapasok namin sa loob ng katawan ng pasyente. At ito na rin yung mga sinabi kong kakabitan natin na butas at yan. Pumapasok na yan dito sa aming mga arms, robotic arms. No? And this will serve as the arms of the surgeon. The surgeon will operate on the console na nasa likod ni Doctora Lady. No? At yung mga instrumento namin, papasok into those arms. And that can be moved. No? Nagagalaw yon. Lahat yan. And as you can imagine, syempre, tulog na yung pasyente na to. Naka-general anesthesia yung pasyente. Wala siyang namamalayan, wala siyang nararamdaman. Hindi niya nararamdaman na may buta siya or whatever. No? And we can position our instruments and our camera to where the prostate is. No? So, ito, ngayon, uh, papasukan namin ng mga needle holders or pantahe, mga scissors and everything. So, pag napasok na namin to, yung actual surgeon is pumupunta na ron sa console. So, siguro si Dr. Lady, you will be the surgeon for the morning. No? So, makikita ninyo na lahat ng instrumento namin will be visualized inside the field of surgery. So, nakikita rin ng assistant namin dun sa monitor kung ano yung nakikita ng surgeon sa loob. No? So, and everything is done under 10 times magnification. Everything is done under 3D high definition uh, video. So, kita lahat. No? And lahat ng ginagawa ng surgeon is natratransmit faithfully by the robot to the patient. So, ngayon, ganito yung ginagawa namin sa operasyon. Ano? Ito, ginawa, nilagay lang natin ng model para mapakita sa ating audience kung ano yung nakikita ng si Rohano habang nag-oopera. At yung nakikita ng si Rohano is essentially na pro-project dun sa TV na nakikita ng mga nurses na nag assist at nung iba pang doktor na, nag, na tumutulong dun sa surgery. So, kung ako yung mag-oopera, actually, nandito ako sa console. So, makikita ninyo, mag-oopera ako, nakaupo. For kung, kung ganong kahaba man yung operasyon, one hour, two hours, very comfortable for the surgeon, nakapatong ang kamay ko rito, uh, hindi ako mga ngawit, no? maganda yung position ko, and I have full control of the robot using this instruments which are called finger control. So, mga daliri ko lang yung gumagalaw. So, yung, itong, itong machine din na to, na-adjust no? sa, sa, sa ulo nung, nung doktor, nag-move siya para maganda yung maganda yung ano maganda yung position ng doktor habang nag-oopera. So na yan. So pag pinasok ko yung ulo ko, I now have full control of the robot and I can see everything, no? So inside the patient. So and makikita niyo rin doon sa camera or doon sa console, meron din kaming mic actually pag habang nagsasalita ako, naririnig ako ng buong team inside the operating room para lahat ng instructions ko na transmit sa kanila. And kunyari, ito ngayon, kung ano yung ginagawa ko sa loob, makikita nyo rin sa TV, which is beside the our, my assistant surgeon, and pwede ako magtahe. No? Madali lang magtahe. At maganda dyan, we can do a lot of maneuvers. We can dissect, we can pull, we can push. No? Yung mga mahirap gawin during laparoscopic surgery, mas madali gawin dito sa, dito sa robotics. No? So, alimbawa, uh, meron kaming tatanggalin, mas, mak mas nakikita namin, mas nakakotorize namin. So, pag pagkatahi natin, no, makikita ninyo na, na kitang-kita namin kung anong ginagawa namin. At yung maneuvers na kailangan gawin, madali rin. So, even yung seemingly na mahirap gawin sa, sa, sa loob ng pasyente, tutulad ng kunyari, pagbubuhol ng tahe, madali lang gawin magbuhol ng tahe. Ano? Dito sa robotics. Di ba? So, ito, ito yung technology that took several decades to perfect. No? Tung, yung transmission ng movement ng surgeon. Ganyan. And everything is done under 3D magnification. Okay, so alimbawa, ano, sabi ko nga, tatlo yung arms na pwede kong gamitin. Kung gusto kong magpalit, ayan, mapapalitan ko yung aking left hand at magagamit ko na ngayon tong instrumento sa left hand ko. No? Kung gusto kong putulin siya, madali lang gawin. 
So everything, lahat ng lahat ng mga ng mga may isip namin na gawin sa loob ng katawan ng pasyente, pinadali ng robot. At isa pa, makikita ninyo, yung instrumento hindi nanginginig. Merong tremor elimination capability yung robot. Manginig man yung kamay ng sirohano dito sa console, hindi nanginginig in so the So kahit in the 70 patient. years old na kayo, Dok, pwede pa rin kayo mag-opera? Sana! Kahit 70 <laughs> years old pa ako, pwede ako mag-opera. So siguro, Doktora, you can try. No? Subukan mo, makikita mo how the machine works. At nag activate lang siya pag meron ng active surgeon inside. Nandiyan ang alam ng machine na nandiyan ka. May sensor siya to sense na may ulo na nagko-control at may, nag, may, may surgeon na nagko-control ng instrumento. And you can move your instruments in the, whatever way that your wrist can allow it to move. You know? And yung movement na yun natatransmit doon sa loob ng katawan ng pasyente using the robotic arms. Dali lang, di ba? Parang video game. But really, itong uh, uh, skill na to, uh, our, our specialists undergo additional training for robotic surgery. You know, merong certification, there's a quality control. Uh, Ini-ensure, uh, ini uh, of course, ng society namin, ng hospital, at even the manufacturers of the machine, na ang hahawak lang ng, ng pasyente at ng robot in actual surgery are what we call intuitive certified robotic surgeons. It's a special training that we undergo para matutunan yung paggamit ng machine, matutunan yung mga technique, matutunan kung paano i-handle uh, yung uh, machine and the patient, and of course, for problem solving and for res resolution of complications intraoperatively. So, may additional training ang mga specialists natin. Oh, yeah. Madali lang, doktora, di ba? Yes, dok. Kayang-kaya. Konting practice pa. Parang video game. <laughs> video no? game. So like I said, here in St. Luke's, we've done more than 600 robotic surgeries over the past five years. Napakaganda ng experience namin at napakaganda ng experience ng mga pasyente namin uh, with robotic surgery. In fact, like I said, ito na, ito na yung wave of the future. This is uh, the state of the art in terms of minimally invasive surgery. And we are glad that we are, you know, we are able to offer it to our Filipino patients who really deserve the best that we can give them in healthcare. No? Hindi na kailangan mag-abroad yung mga pasyente just to undergo robotic. Correct. Hindi na sila kailangan lumipad sa ibang bansa. Hindi na sila kailangan maghanap ng expertise. The expertise is here. The technology is here. The equipment is here. And I hear foreigners are actually coming to our country to undergo this procedure. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, tulad na nabanggit ni Dr. Ayas kanina at the start, no? uh, ang costing ng surgery natin is one of the lowest in Asia. So there are some foreigners who either live here and actually have the surgery here or you know, come, to the, come to our country uh, for those areas na wala pang robotics. They come to us to get robotic surgery done. So, Dr. Dennis Serrano, thank you very much for your expertise and all the information you've given us this morning. Any final words po sa audience natin? Uh, well, ang, ang gusto ko lang i-impart, I think, really, is the importance of detection ng prostate cancer. No? Prostate can, nobody needs to die of prostate cancer. If we detect it early, we can cure it. And like I said, we have the technology, we have the capability, and we have the expertise to give you the best that, that the world can offer in terms of prostate cancer cure. And that is here at St. Luke's Medical Center in Global City. We have a, what we call a minimally invasive and robotic surgery center. For, if you want more information, you can dial our trunk line sa St. Luke's. It's 789-7700 and ask for the robotics center. And they will, uh, they will uh, connect you to our robotic center. We have uh, well-trained uh, and capable nurses and staff that will give you all of the information you need. If you need a consult, sila rin ang magbibigay sa inyo ng schedule, ng consultation ng mga doktor. Hindi lang ho ako ang eksperto dito. May mga experts kami in St. Luke's. Uh, we have a whole team that is available at your service. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Serrano. Anyone you want to greet po? Uh, siguro, gigreet ko lang yung aking uh, magandang asawa, si Grace, uh, who is hopefully at home watching, and my kids uh, who are also going into medicine, and I hope they go into robotic surgery. Yes. yes. Congratulations. Okay, so once again, thank you, Dr. Dennis Serrano, for all your time and information. Huwag muna kayong alis, mga kasambahay. Magbabalik pa po ang... Doctors, Doctors on TV! TV.